My name is Will Reichelt and I am the visual effects supervisor for Peter Rabbit. The visual effects supervisor's role is to work directly with uh, the director and to understand what they want creatively and to make sure that's communicated back to the team at the studio. And it's also their responsibility to attend the shoot to make sure that we're collecting all of the information that we need to collect in order to do the work and then to present the final creative work back to the director for approval. Peter Rabbit needed a lot of great invention to figure out how to best make a live action hybrid film versus a straight animation. It's very different because in animation you can keep making changes till the last week. Whereas with live action, you have to lock and load. You have to commit to what you shoot on set and then you have to make the animation work to it. Computer-generated animation doesn't make a hybrid movie easier. In fact, computer-generated visual effects and animation get more and more complex year after year. But it's also far more complex and interesting and emotional for a storyteller. And to do that, the Analogic team had to develop an incredible amount of fur technology, cloth technology, and character animation technology to be able to get that expressiveness out of these fur-covered little creatures. So, as with every project, there's very uh, bespoke technology that needs to be developed to be able to do something that's innovative and groundbreaking. We now are able to achieve a much higher level of quality on fur, for instance, with the combination of the kind of rendering technology that we implemented on the Lego movies. So, everything that we do feeds into it itself and it's all in the service of pushing everything forward to create a better result. I think that people discount the amount of um, artistry that goes into visual effects and the fact that um, visual effects is a very strong combination of technical skill and artistic skill. And um, the people that, that work on these films are very, very talented artists and have to be in order to achieve the level of quality that we go for. The biggest challenge on Peter Rabbit were the shots where we had to sell an interaction between the actors and the digital characters. And the reason for that is because it's very hard to kind of reconcile what's actually happening from a physical point of view on set and what the animation is going to be later. So part of what my role was on set was to make sure that the actors understood what the characters were meant to be doing at any given time and to make sure that they had something physical there to interact with. The other aspect of my role on set is to communicate with the DOP and the camera operator to make sure that they also know what Peter and the other characters are supposed to be doing in the shots so that the camera work then ties in to the characters' actions and what they're supposed to be doing too. For instance, uh, Peter might be running at a certain speed down the garden path, the camera might need to pan at a, at a certain speed, take two seconds to pan from right to left. The camera operator has to know that in order to do it at the right speed so that we have the information there to put Peter in at the correct speed later on. Well, an animated movie comes to life when you get the actors to kind of perform the voices behind the animated characters. And so when you have amazing actresses like Margot Robbie and Elizabeth Debicki playing two of the triplets, it just makes them explode on screen. So we're, we're really fortunate to have that level of A-level talent. And the animators use that as a point of reference for when they're animating. Uh, for the level of expression and how much emphasis the actors put on certain things and um, animators are like actors and they take that as, as an input and then they put their own uh, spin on it. I'm really excited for people to see Peter Rabbit and to uh, see the results of work that we put into it because um, I'm really proud of it. I think that we set out to achieve something that was photorealistic and, and integrated and I think we achieved that goal and I think um, as the director, Will Gluck, says, you forget that you're watching animated rabbits after five minutes and that you see them as just characters in the film, which I think is fantastic. I think it's what, exactly what we wanted.